What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with 4. In this video we're going to be doing model mods power mod. So I'm going to get it out, show you how it comes when you receive them. So in the box it looks a little bit like this. So we're just going to crack on and get it out and have a look. So it's in this lovely black paper. It comes with this switch um, section also so you can turn it on and off. Pop that out of the way. Um, if you are going to attempt to do the power mod, you will need the frame looking like this. So you need it so that you can get to the bottom of the vehicle there. Uh, you will need it stripped down. You can't do this without the vehicle being stripped down. If you haven't seen our stripped down video on how to take it all apart once you've built the DeLorean, you can check that out just by clicking on the link just here. If you want to stop and just watch that now, then you can. Right, so this is how the power mod comes. So that's the power mod. What we're going to do now is we're just going to take it out and we're going to see what it comes with and then we're going to show you how to install it. Uh, after this small clip of the video what we'll do is we will show you a before and after what the um, EL lights look like as well um, when using the power mod. So if you do go for the EL uh, wire mod uh, from model mods as well you will need the power mod to power them so um, you can't use it without this so you will need to grab this one as well okay. I can't even get into it, it's that well packaged. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> I can't open it. Uh, this is funny. Here we go, here we go. So once you've got in the impossible case, uh, you look how much uh, presentation goes into this, how much time they take to make these um, packages really well. So once you have that um, opened, then you will be faced with all these bits. So let's have a quick look at what we get in there. So the first thing that stands out is the plug. So we get the plug there so that is it's got a good good bit of cable on there it's all been tied up but the thing with this you won't have to worry about batteries and stuff stuff like that because this will eliminate all that so this will help power it. this is the switch that will go in between so that will go in between there and then that will plug into this and then you still got all this cable in as well so you know you can have it quite far away mine's going to possibly go here so the cable will have to travel all the way around to there. That's probably about a meter and a bit, a meter and a half, um, even probably two meters. That's going to be absolutely fine. That's going to reach. Uh, there's a few adapters to change the plug. If you um, just, you know, for different countries, uh, there you go. So you do have all the adapters in there as well. So it's just really handy to know that you don't just have to have it in the UK. It has been adapted to go into uh, many countries. So there you go. There you are. So this is the UK standard plug, which looks a bit like that. You can take that out just by clicking that. You can release and take this out. Um, and then you can change it over for um, the ones that you desire. So there you go. What more do you want? All that you need to install into the vehicle is this. So what I'll do is I will show you what it looks like and then we'll talk about how to get it in there and what you will need. You will need an eight millimeter drill piece and you will need a screwdriver to take your vehicle back apart again. So I'll just show you what you get. So this is the main bit that we're going to install. This is the piece that we need to install into underneath the car. Uh, and then it's got this little plug on there as well, which can go in the hole when you're not using it. And then this is the little nut that holds it all into place. What we'll do is we'll get the camera set up, up and down, uh, so that you guys can have a nice clear look at what we're going to be doing on the vehicle. So we're going to do that right now. So let's bring you over and you can have a look and then we can crack on with what we've got to do. Okay guys, before we get going, there are a couple of things that you will need. You will need to go get yourself um, an eight millimeter drill piece, just like that. Make sure it's a metal one. Uh, it can be, uh, you know, a metal one would probably be the best one to use for this. Uh, you also need to go get yourself a screwdriver because you will need to take a couple of things apart. You will need, to grab yourself a drill. A battery powered drill will be easier uh, for you to maintain uh, the speed that you're gonna be uh, going at. The first thing we got to do is we need to get rid of this cable here. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna lift off this section which is holding down the cable. So we're just gonna take that up out of the way and then that will reveal uh, the power cable there. So this is the old power cable that we're just gonna take out 
to get out of the way. So this is this one, and that feeds down into this junction box here. So what we need to do is also just take this one out as well, which we can do now. So we're just gonna pop that up out of the way. And you will need to turn it upside down. This is why I've got a towel on here because with the engine, the engine will touch. So you wanna make sure that if you're flipping this up upside down, that you're not going to damage anything. Uh, so the best thing to do is to flip it up onto something soft and the softest thing is going to be a towel so there you go what we need to do guys we will need to remove these screws holding this battery box into place so we're just going to quickly go ahead and do that now we'll just fast forward through that while we do that once that's done guys there are six screws one two three four five six holding on the battery cover so once you have that off that will reveal everything underneath this is the battery cover that we need to make the hole into. So the hole is just gonna go just underneath here. So we'll do that in a moment, just to show you guys. Um, the thing that we won't need is gonna be this battery pack in here. So we can go ahead and remove the battery pack. So we're gonna do that because we don't need it. Um, but you can install it again uh, if you want to. So it's probably best to keep on to hold of it. Uh, but once you've got uh, the mods in there, you know, you won't really need that. So the best thing to do is really just to get it removed so it's not in there at all. At the moment, there is, just gonna take them out. So there's two screws holding that side on. And I think there's another one, a third screw, holding the battery box on this side as well. So there should be three screws all together. There you go, so there's three screws. I'll just show you. So um, there's one screw here, there's one screw there, and then there's also one screw there as well. So that's the three screws. The uh, switch should slide out and come out of there. So that should be quite easy to do. And then the rest of it should hopefully pull back through that hole. Let's see if it lets us pull it all the way through. We have got it connected, so we can disconnect it from the battery terminal. And then we'll see if it comes. I don't know if that hole is big enough to take that out of there, which it possibly isn't. Okay, the thing is it's going through another one of those screw tabs. So I'm just gonna remove that screw tab on this side. And then that will go through, so, okay. So as you can see there, that should just come out through there. And then now the battery box is now removed. So we don't need that right now. So that can just be moved out of the way. Make sure you keep your screws, um, you know, all safe in one area. So because they've got to go back on at some stage. Right, so at the minute, we're finished with the car. We don't need to use the car right now because we are finished with the car. But we do need to drill a piece into the top of that box. So we'll just move these cables out of the way for one moment. So with the battery box, this bit can just come out of the way for the moment as well. But we will need to drill a hole just through underneath that little uh, opening there. We'll just need to put a hole just through there. So I'm just gonna go prepare myself for that and then we'll drill through and then show you how that's installed. Okay guys, what I've done is I've gone to grab myself a bit of wood because if you're gonna drill through something, you wanna drill into something like a bit of wood that you don't need. Everyone tends to have a piece of wood laying around. If you don't, maybe you find somebody or find something uh, that you can drill it onto, something that you don't really care about. What I'm gonna do here, we need to put it into there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the tape just on the edge, like so. And then I'm going to just mark it down there, which will keep that held in place. And then you can measure this out if you want to, but I'm just gonna use steady hand to mark the center and then I'm going to put the power mod in between there and then what you need to do usually generally a rule of thumb is to go through with a smaller bit first so I'm going to do that because I don't want the plastic to crack so I'm just going to take any drill piece to just start myself off in the center there when we start to see wood, then we know we've gone further enough. Nice and slowly we'll do it. Didn't take long to get through. So now that we've got our pilot hole, 
We're now going to go through with our eight mil. So just move any of the excess dust out of the way. You need to be careful not to break the plastic, which we didn't, so we're fine. What we're going to do is we're going to go through from the other side as well. Um, we're just going to go really slowly, but we're going to hold it at the same time. Just to get a nice even cut. There we are. So that's the eight millimeter hole. So we're just gonna move all that out of the way because we're finished with that now. And then what we should have is something that just looks like that. So a nice round hole that goes through there. So what that need, what that means is that we can now install the pieces that we need to for the mod itself. So these bits at the end here just need to feed through the hole. So we're just going to feed those through. So that's one, two, three. Pull those through. And then there's another two, which I think for the radio mod. So we'll just slide that through there as well. So one, two, and then that will go in there. And then what that should do is that should sit in there nice and snug, which it will. So that, that's what it's gonna look like when we um, have it all installed. So the next thing we need to put on there, I mean, if you're gonna go and have this rubber section in, you're gonna have to put that in first because and then what will happen is you'll be able to use that to plug the hole afterwards so if you want to have the rubber section you know what i think we're going to go ahead and have the rubber section because the rubber section looks really good so we're going to put the rubber section on so what we'll need to do is we'll need to feed this all the way through uh the rubber section first we could probably stretch it over the top but i don't want to risk breaking it so i'm just going to just feed them through just so we've got them in there so let's just feed them through as we would if we were going to put it through the hole. So we've just got another one to go through there. And you want to have it so that it's up this way around so that it will cover. Let's go down here and then we've just got two more to put through. So that's one, two. So as that goes down onto there, that rubber will now sit over the top like that. And then you can use that to plug the hole when you're not using it. When it's not plugged in, then at least you can have it up like that so it's up out of the way. What we're going to do now is we're just going to straighten that up, pull that up into place, because we'll just leave that on. Because if that's on, then that's going to be fine. Um, but we just need to put that, feed that back through here this way. So let's go ahead and do that. This is already looking really cool, guys. So with the power mod, you can have so many more things on here. Like I said, you can have the EL wire mod uh, because you won't be able to, there'll be too much to power on that circuit board um, with those batteries and uh, you know using that. So this is the best solution for you uh, to have everything, every mod that you want to have without running the battery down. And plus your, um, you know, your DeLorean can just be sitting there fluxing away as much as it wants to. So there we go. So we're going to keep that into position like that so that it sits like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run the little nut over the top so that that holds that all into place. So we'll just now need to again just feed that through. So one at a time, just slowly feed them through. There we go. Until we get down to the end. And then we just need to keep this into place. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold that into place. We're going to bring that over because this nut is going to hold all that in. And then we should, at the minute, just be able to do this up by hand. We will possibly have to get something to help tighten that when it comes to it. But for, for now, I feel that we could possibly just do it up enough just to keep it where we want it. So there we go. So that's where it's going to go. So now, as you can see, they are sitting through like this. 
and then the mod looks like that and then it's so neat and tidy so you've got this little bit here so it just keeps all the rubbish out of there and then you can just seal it back up again just like that so when you're using it you'll have that off and then when you're not using it you just put it back in there because you don't have to have it plugged in all the time you can just plug it in and at least you can take it around plug it in somewhere show it off to all your mates uh, and then you got it like that and then also you still have the option to put the switch back in at some point if you need to but at this at this moment we don't need to worry about that right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that up a little bit more with my hand because it's actually sitting in there pretty tight it's not going to go anywhere and then we need to bring the body of the car back over because we need to feed it back through the vehicle itself. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place the car back on its upside down so that it's like this. And then we're gonna take these cables and then we're gonna start with the longer ones. We're gonna feed them through that hole that was up here where we pulled them through in the first place. And then we're gonna start with one at a time. So one goes through followed by the next one followed by the third one uh, and then if you grab it underneath then you can just pull them through just be careful not to uh, damage anything while you're doing that so then pull that through there and then when you get to the point of the other two you just need to then feed them through there as well so that's one and then this one through as well I think we've got that through. Oh no, we missed the hole. Here we go. There's so many through there now, it doesn't want to go. There we go, so that's in. So there you go. So that goes through, so they're all into there. So then what you need to do now is this, when that's through there, you just need to line it up where it would go, so it'll just sit into there. And then what we need to do now is just pop those six screws back in. So we'll fast forward through putting those back in and then we'll flip it up so we can see it on the other side. So there you go guys, that's all done now. Remember these two are longer than the other ones. Uh, I didn't realize that until I'd taken them out. So these two screws are longer than the, two, the four that are there. So once you've got that in and you're happy with it, just put your battery cover back in just to keep it all covered up. That will just click back in place, so that's out of the way. Um, okay, I'll just put it in wrong. That'll do. It's fine, so it's in place anyway. Um, that should sit in there better, but I'll just I'll sort that out in a moment. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to switch it back up this way, so you can have a look at how it's coming through. So now you are presented with these wires here. So uh, the wires go through there, and then what you need to do is you just need to stick them down around here so they trail at the back here and then what they will do is they'll be able to attach into the back of the circuit board so we'll talk about that in a moment once we've installed the center console back in then we'll talk about where these go okay okay guys this is all now uh channeled through so once that comes out the bottom there just let me lift that up from here you'll see that we've used those little tabs again i'll just tilt it to the side so you can see so we've used the tabs to hold the cable in place so that's all held in place now just like that so you've got the three out the end so what this is one of these will just power the uh, circuit board so I'll just show you what I mean by that so um, you only need one of them to power it the other ones will power other things like the EL wire and stuff like that so if you're just doing this mod the next part of this is all you need to do is get this round the right way so I'll just show you how it is it doesn't matter which one of these you use you can use any of them as long as you have uh, the plus and minus so on here it says plus and minus so the min the minus is at the top the plus is at the bottom so what you need to do is you just need to make sure it's round the right way so the black one will be the minus and then the red one will be the plus and that just pushes onto there and then what that does is that will now power this whole circuitry so that will all be powered by the plug so all you need to do is grab the plug and check the plug quickly We're not going to plug it in um, we will show you in another video um, it all working with this uh, powered up but we'll just show you for now so all you need to do underneath 
you will need to add the extension because this one, the reason you would need to add the extension first is because this one is on an L bracket. So you don't want to go and plug it straight in using this one from the plug. You want to go using uh, this one here. So this one is the long one. So you get so much cable. It's unbelievable how much cable you get. You get loads. So this is definitely, I can definitely put this uh, where I want it with this much cable going on. And then underneath, so if we just quickly unplug that for one second, just so I can show you, we'll tilt this onto its side on its wheels like that. So under here, there is now a piece for you to plug it in. So you can just take that out, plug that in, push that in, nice tight fit. And then when the vehicle's down, let's put the wheels up because it's decided to go into hover mode one side. Now you have the cable sticking out. You can obviously hide it and when you've got it on display, but at least you've got now power to this to be able to power up all the mods that are coming. So there you are guys, that's how you install the power mod. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please comment down in the comment section down below. You can always uh, find modern mods in the links in the description. So if you need to ask them any questions, uh, you're about to find Chloe and Corey there. They are the masters behind all of this. So please go check that out. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.